Welcome to Blackboard Advanced, setting up the Grade Center. Let's review the basics. You can access the Grade Center from the Course Management menu. Select Grade Center, then Full Grade Center to view all students in all columns. Now let's review the Grade Center functions. Create column allows you to create a grade column. Create Calculated column gives you options that include Total column, Weighted total, Average column, and Minimum Maximum column. The Manage button allows you to edit and add grading schemas, categories, and column organization. The Reports button allows you to create reports from the Grade Center data. Now that we've reviewed the basics, let's start from the syllabus to build your Grade Center. Start with the grading schema. A grading schema is a mapping of percentage ranges to a specific grade display. We need to make sure the Blackboard schema matches your syllabus. Navigate to the full Grade Center by clicking Grade Center, then Full Grade Center. Access the Manage menu and choose Grading Schemas. On the Grading Schemas page, hover your mouse over Letter, click the Menu button, and choose Edit. Scroll down to the Schema Mapping section. Here you can click in any field and edit the values. Click Submit when you are finished. Next, take a look in your syllabus for a grade breakdown. This will help you decide which total column to use to calculate the course grade. In this example, there are categories with weighted percentages. For the course grade, you can choose from the following. An average column calculates the mathematical average of the included columns. A total column calculates the sum of the included columns. And a weighted total column weights the sum based on item percentages. Before creating or editing any total column, plan the rest of your Grade Center columns. Based on the example grade breakdown, there are a couple of options for each category. For participation, either create one column and enter a value, or create a column for each class meeting, then create a total column for this group of columns. Option one is to create one column. Click Create Column, name the column, and add points possible. Click Submit when you are finished. Option two is to create a column for each class meeting. Create a column, name the column, and add points possible. Click Submit when you are finished. You can repeat this for every class meeting. Then create a calculated column. Choose Total Column, name the column, and scroll down to the Select Columns section. Click on Selected Columns and Categories, select Columns to move to the right with the top arrow, and click Submit when you are finished. For the Homework category, create Blackboard or Publisher content that creates automatic columns and create a Homework Total column, or create your own columns and create a Homework Total column. For the Written Assignments category, the same options are applicable. Create content with automatic columns and create a Written Assignments Total column, or create your own columns and a written assignments total column. For the in-class presentation, since it is outside of Blackboard, create a column. For digital projects, you can create content with automatic columns and create a digital projects total column, or create your own columns for each project and create a digital projects total column. For chapter quizzes, the same options are applicable. For the Speaking Assignments category, again, choose between creating Blackboard or Publisher content with automatic columns or create your own columns. Both will need a total column to gather scores. If you need to include drop grades in any category, please contact CIT for more information. From our example syllabus, each category is a weighted percentage of the total grade. Edit the default weighted total column to finalize your grade center. Click on the menu button at the top of the weighted total column. Choose Edit Column Information. If needed, you can change the name of the column. Scroll to the Select Columns section. Choose the columns or total columns for each category in the top left box and move it to the right with the top arrow. After the applicable columns are moved to the box on the right, Enter the percentages for each category. The total weight of the column is tracked below this box each time you enter a percentage. It should equal 100% with all categories included.
Click Submit when you are finished. To review, build your Grade Center by checking your syllabus grading schema, grade breakdown, and planning out your columns in advance. Thank you for watching Blackboard Advanced setting up your Grade Center. For more information and guides, please visit our website, cit.ua.edu.